First of all, we need to say that most children show behavior that is called typical child behavior. Terrible twos, temper tantrums, children do the opposite of what it's told, they're stubborn, children love to test adults, children needs rewards clapping, children are aggressive. While it is true that children manifest this behavior, it's not true that this is a typical child behavior, but they, it is the result of children trying to defend themselves. So what are the children defending themselves from? Unnecessary help from the adult, interruptions, rushing, distraction to make the child do what the adult wants, competitions, judgments. So with the right environment, and the informed adult, we have a different child, the real child, a normal child. There's a transformation that takes place that starts from the child. When there's an atmosphere of tranquility where all his needs are met, the child will feel secure, he's peaceful, absorbed, deeply interested and concentrating his work. Concentration is the pillar and fundamental to normalization. There are few things that parents can do, not only to help their child with normalization at school, but to have a child at home that's normalized. First, follow the child. Go at child's pace. Two, allow the child to do what he can do at his own pace dressing, undressing, walking, getting to a car seat, serving himself at the table, go up the steps, down the steps. Three, respect and defend his concentration. Four, importance of the same routine every day to get ready to, for school. A routine does not mean a clock routine, but sequences of action routines. Example, child eats dinner, takes a bath, brushes his teeth, prepares the clothes for the next day, reads a book, goes to sleep. Same thing in the morning. He wakes up, he gets dressed, eats his breakfast, gets ready for school. The sequences of events gives a child a sense of order. He builds security and trust. He knows what comes next, does not have to wait for the adult to tell him what to do. It also fosters independence. Compared to what we are going through now, and we don't like it because we cannot predict what's going to happen. We feel like we don't have control over our lives. Same is for the child. Coming to school on time so the child does not feel awkward about joining a class that has already started helps the child to be independent and confident. There are few rules that schools follow and parents should follow them at home too. Everything goes back to its place. Nothing can be taken from another child. No sharing, no rewards or punishment. We do not clap. Understand what the child is going through it as he starts school. Without an active separation from the parents, concentration and normalization would take much longer. <laughs>